Hello friends, Jason here for Shark Eyes, taking a look at gold. It is Monday, so we start with a fresh perspective. And so far on the weekly time frame, we are pinned between our EMA 12 and our EMA 26, getting a tightening range. These two lines will continue to converge as long as we're moving sideways on the daily and weekly time frame. Eventually, your moving averages cease to function as reliable levels, simply because when the average is the same on every level, they don't really work in any capacity that we can use so keep an eye on them watch those converging levels and watch to see when and if if and when rather they stop functioning as reliable indicators of support and resistance right now they're still acting as such so we'll be using them on the weekly time frame we managed to hold that bull flag or that bear flag type pattern we are at real risk of losing it last week as we started off way down here but we bounced off of our ema 26 so bulls are still holding things together i don't want to see us going much further to the side as i said for a couple of reasons one our moving averages will stop working and two we're going to negate this bear flag pattern if we're going to see something happen, I want us to negate this pattern by having a bull break or seeing a po uh, an execution to the downside of the pattern that we're watching. Right now on the weekly time frame, our key level for us to watch is 1445. And way up here, we need to break above 1478 to look for a negation of that flag. Until then, we're just chopping sideways and we'll see if we can find something more useful to look at on the daily time frame. Speaking of the daily time frame, let's zoom in and take a look at that. Here we can see that we are starting to shape up into a tightening range. Here's our low, our high, our higher low. Now the question is, do we get a lower high underneath 1478 to set up a daily equilibrium? That would be the ideal scenario. And really the only way we could stay inside this extended weekly bear flag pattern and still have something useful that we can watch and utilize some key levels from. So in order to do that, we need to stay under 1478 and see a rejection from that level, setting that lower high, and then coming back down to try and establish a higher low. That'll give us those nice four points that we need for an equilibrium. Right now, we only have three. So on the daily time frame, where are our supports? 1453, 1450, and then 1445. If we lose the last one, that's going to be an execution of that weekly bear flag. On the upside, we have resistance of 1478. Are high at 1494 and then way over here at 1516 so this is looking good so far on the daily right now we would expect upswing look for resistance at ema 26 we still need to get back up over top of our ema 12 we managed to just get above that but we've lost that level today bulls are currently trying to buy this dip up push the price back up we'll see what they're able to do four hour time frame is going to be for the bulls an ever so slight four hour uptrend and we need to maintain this by staying over top of 1466. So here's our lows, our highs are over that, uh, higher low, a new high, higher low. Now we need to prove that this is a actual consistent and reliable uptrend, but getting over 1466. Overall on the daily time frame, we're going to be watching this equilibrium, paying very, very close attention to our key levels. And let's make sure that these bulls stay above 1453 and get above 1466 for that potential upside into a lower high on the daily time frame.